Good day, everybody, and welcome back to the dark side. This is part three of the Roots mod walkthrough. In part one, we had a look on how to get started. And in part two, we had a look at getting the ingredients. Now, part three, we're just going to look at a few fun little things that the mod adds that you can use. So let's get into it. The first one is going to be these nifty little tools. So as you'll see, they are called the living variants of the tools. And what makes them special is that they're on iron level and they regenerate their durability. So you can use them, leave them in your inventory for a couple of minutes and they will be fully repaired. So for each of these, you're going to use the Fay Crafter with a gold ingot, wild root and two bark with the corresponding wood variant of the tool. So this is more useful early on in the game, but as you progress, they might not be as useful. Then you're going to want to go mining at this point, because there's a bunch of amethyst ore that you can find, which will drop a piece of amethyst, which will be used for a couple of these as well. The first one is this cute little armor set. As you can see, it's just a living wood armor set. Not very useful later game, but for a completionist like me, I love to craft it as well. Let's put that back. This armor can be crafted quite simply once you have all the stuff that we covered already, being uh, amethyst, fey leather, birch bark, vines, and the iron variant of the armor piece that you're, that you're crafting at that point. I'm going to put all those in your fey crafter and it will drop the armor piece that you're crafting at that point. And then the this part is actually going to be required for a couple of things uh, later on in this uh, lineup. It's going to be the wildwood tree. Now the wildwood tree will not spawn naturally. As you saw from the villager earlier, you can buy a sapling from a villager, but it comes at a hefty fee. Instead, we can acquire the tree from a simple little ritual uh, that doesn't really require that much. So for this, you're going to need your pyre, your flint and steel, and a planted wild root close by. In the pyre, you're going to put wild root, a specifically dark oak bark, a spirit herb, and then two other bark as well. Once you activate the ritual, it will take a couple of seconds, and the wild wood plant will grow into a wildwood tree. You can then harvest the wood and repeat this ritual as much as you can to get enough wood for that as well. It is important to note that the leaves will decay, but you will not get any saplings from it. Instead, the tree will drop more wild, root, wild roots. Then this is also up to you. You can upgrade your component pouch to an apothecary pouch which, as you see, has a lot more space on both sides, going from six ingredients that you can use at a time to nine with a lot more space for other stuff as well. Personally, I do upgrade to this pouch because I do switch between these spells quite often, especially early game, and it does offer you more space in which you can put uh, shulker-specific stuff. Like, there's a few mods that add containers that doesn't break and drop the contents so you can harvest your ingredients and keep them in here so you can add your backpacks and stuff like that to this and kind of carry extra ingredients with you as well as well as all the tools that you'll need like this runic shears and the pestle it just makes it easier to access when you're actually working with the mod for that you're gonna go into your fey crafter and add two wildwood barks specifically wildwood a spirit herb and an ender chest. And then of course your component pouch. Now at this point, it's not important to remove the ingredients or anything else from the component pouch as they will carry over to the apothecary pouch once it's upgraded. This is very useful and can be used in the same way as the component pouch in that it does double as a belt uh, bubble and you can access it with a key bind. Then just a few other tools that are only acquirable after you get wildwood is the, uh, the wildwood bow, which is the normal bow, 
two wildwood bark, terra moss, and a spirit herb in the Fae Crafter. Then if you want some wildwood or living arrows, you're going to need the flint, wildwood, any bark, and two leaves. Now this isn't only acquirable after Wildwood, but I thought to put the, these two together. And then this one is pretty useful if you're into archery. The Wildwood Quiver can store arrows and shoot them from here so that it doesn't clutter up your inventory if you don't have infinity. That is crafted with two Wildwood Barks, a chest, spirit herb, and terra moss in the Fey Crafter. Then if your living armor isn't doing it for you, you can craft yourself a set of wildwood armor, which just looks super cool for me. And it's a lot stronger than the other ones. So for that, you're going to craft it in a similar way as the other armor being two wildwood bark instead with an iron variant of the armor piece that you want, any planks and a diamond. Again, none of these are necessary to progress in the mod, but they are pretty neat to have. The Wildwood also has a couple of things that you can craft from it. As you can see here, I do find these doors and trapdoors very pretty. The trapdoors can also make very pretty uh, windows if you're more into the building side of Minecraft. Now, the unending bowl is one of my favorite parts of this mod especially when you kind of combine that with other mods um, that I will cover at a later date. This does become very useful as the unending bowl is basically an unlimited water source from which you can use other mods with pipes and stuff like that to kind of extract the water and put it into your systems. The recipe is also fairly simple. You'll need some mortar, two degonias, a bucket of water, and terra moss in your Fey Crafter. I usually craft a bunch of these as they are make life a lot easier for other mods. The runestone also has three variants, which has a bunch of things that you can craft from it, as seen here, if you want to use that in your building as well. The last thing in the utilities section of this is the sure-footed stone. That is crafted from four chiseled stone, which you can get from the, the normal rune stones, just adding it like you would stone bricks, and an unending bowl with four terra moss. Now this will double as a water source and prevent crops from being trampled by anyone that jumps on it or walks over it. And that brings us to the end of part three. Stick around for part four, where we're going to be looking at the spells that this mod adds. See you there!